Hey guys, Punisher here, and have you ever really wondered what the best video settings were in OBS Studio? It's a pretty heated topic and a lot of opinions out there, but I've done some research and I've come up with some settings that I'm pretty happy with on my configuration. I'll share those with you, and I'll also share some video clips that I've done where I've done some testing with other configurations. And I, If you're interested in watching those, then stay tuned. Right, one of the most controversial things we could talk about is video settings in OBS, and that just goes without saying. Everybody wants to know what the best settings are, and there are so many different points of views on it. But I came across a Reddit post. A Reddit post was titled, Bit Rates, Resolutions, and Quality. Uh, it was written by Orm, or Null Space, as his title is on Reddit. And it goes into extreme detail. Now look, I'm not going to talk about all that he talks about in this reddit post i mean if you go look at this thing it is amazing the amount of stuff that he talks about and he really breaks it down well i studied this and i researched it and i was like well you know what the best way to figure this out is to put his concept into action and what he used was a couple different formulas to figure out what bpp is or fidelity i guess is what you want to say how sharp an image would look and he used a couple different formulas to figure that out and he used the resolution of your video times the frames per second that you wanted to that you want to stream at you know or most people either do 30 or 60 or you know whatever they can to uh, meet this desired fidelity which is desired fidelity is what he's saying is a point one now, i don't know exactly how he comes up with a point one BPP, but that's what he says is desired. I'm going to take him for granted when he says that. But anyway, so he uses this formula, divides it by a thousand, and that's supposed to give you the bit rate that you're supposed to stream at to achieve this point one. Now, for me, that is 2765 if I wanted to stream at 30 frames per second, and then 5530 if I wanted to stream at 60. That is to achieve that 0.1 BPP fidelity, which is what he says is optimal for streaming. Okay, so I don't have enough upload to support 5500 bit rate. And number two, Twitch doesn't allow no more than 3500 for a maximum bit rate before they will, you know, shut you down. So what you got to do is you got to figure out, you know, based on this formula, what is the best uh, solution for you? You know, and that's based on your upload and whether or not you're streaming to Twitch or you're streaming to another network that allows higher bit rates like YouTube Gaming, for instance, where they allow a maximum of 6,000 for a bit rate. So with that being said, you know, well, my hypothesis was, okay, if I'm going to stream at 60 frames per second based on that formula and my lack of bit rate to achieve that point one then the 60 frame per second video, despite the fact that it's a higher frame rate, should actually look worse than the 30 frame video. So I actually did that. I went in various settings and including that was, you know, my optimum settings with the exception of 30 frames and 60 frames. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you these. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my optimum settings are in OBS. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have these different videos. Titles will pop up, kind of give you the idea of what the settings were for each of the video clips. You can look at each one. You can decide for yourself what they are as I'm doing commentary over the top of them and kind of describing what my, you know, what I was doing. But you can look at these and you can decide for yourself that, you know, this formula actually does work. And you should really look at this Reddit post because, like I said, he goes into extreme detail on you know i uh, concepts like network traffic bit rate image fidelity display resolution versus pixel density uh you know he should he talks about all this stuff and he talks about the twitch tv uh tos and that ingest gap okay so it kind of all the stuff that goes into the quality of your stream the x264 codec for instance all this stuff and, it's, and he also does his, his own work and kind of gives you examples uh, of different resolutions including 540p 720 1080 and just goes into how they look you know because you know with his restrictions on upload bitrate that sort of thing 
Let's go ahead and take a look at the video clips, and as that, I'll go ahead and discuss the different things that I was doing, including running various settings in OBS Studio just to see what was better, you know, like CVR, VVR, that kind of thing. So anyway, I'll go ahead and cut over that, and we'll talk about that. All right, so there, I wanted to explain a few things. First of all, I'm running 720p video, so that's why you see the video smaller than what you were seeing before because of other video that was 1080p 60. So this is a 723. Now this is my optimum settings. That's 720p 30 frames at 2850. Uh, okay. Now I also threw my overlay in here to kind of help things out a little bit uh, to cover up the rest of it. Now I'm going to put my webcam. You got my webcam in one corner. And then you have the chat, which you can see here, the text coming in at the bottom. Now, I, all I did here in this next video is all I did was I changed the profile. Okay, you can do that in OBS. Okay, and you have baseline, main, and high. Okay, so I wanted to show the difference between the three because for, uh, what I saw, I didn't really see that much of a difference between the three videos. Now, you run high, that gives you a better... Uh, better performance or better quality supposedly but you know it can uh, cause CPU loading so if you have a problem with CPU loading then maybe use baseline or main okay but you can see that there's just really not that much of a difference in the video quality between the two now the third one coming up will be of course uh, this will be the uh, main or normal it's called main uh, but like again you know you just don't see it so this just kind of gives you an idea now you guys that are streaming on single rig pcs and i'm doing a dual rig so this i have a dedicated streaming pc okay for you guys this is something that you want to play with because you want to try to get as much performance as possible because you don't want to lose your frames all right so this is the next video cut and here i am running uh presets okay uh this is fast preset at 2850 at uh, 30 frames per second and you can see here this is not bad this is good now this is uh what i typically run for my cpu preset okay now here is very fast okay very fast is actually what they recommend running for most people uh this is you know really applies to guys that run single rigs again because again these profile settings uh are, are these uh settings here cause you to uh, you know, have more CPU load. So if you can run very fast or if you can run super fast uh, without you know hurting your frame rates, that sort of thing, uh, then go for it. Uh, but typically very fast is really a really you know, good setting uh, if you are suffering from a lot of uh, CPU loading because of streaming, then you use ultra fast, which takes you know the least load to run. Okay, now here you can see the bit rate. I've changed bit rate, and this is 2,000. Now, bit rate, from what I have figured out, bit rate is really the number one uh, thing that affects your quality. Okay, as you can see here, you see some granularity, some pixelation going on, uh, as opposed to this video. Now, this is 60 frame video at 3,500. Okay, one of the problems I'll have, and you'll see here in a minute, is that because I don't have the support through uploading that I started causing a lot of buffering on Twitch. Okay. So there you go. You're seeing it there. Okay. Even at 3,500, I was buffering, uh, with a 4,200, um, upload speed. And this last video is, um, you know, me running my preferred settings at 3,500. Now, what is the point of why I did that? Okay, I want you to compare these last two video cuts because what this is going to show you is that this video at 30 frames per second is actually sharper looking than the 60 frame video. It might not be quite as smooth because, you know, it's 30 frames by 60. But what you're going to see is you see that the video is actually sharper. It looks crisper. Okay, and that's what the point of the guy was getting at with the with the uh, fidelity, okay, that point one, trying to achieve the point one because you get a sharper, crisper picture, okay. And most people just really, I mean, can't support an upload speed to support 60 frames per second and get a beautiful quality, you know, uh, video out of it. Now, people do stream at 60 frames per second, and I'm not saying you can or you can't, but we have evidence here that, you know, 30 frames. Uh, if you try to, you know, adjust your settings to meet that point one, that you can actually get a 
better quality looking video out of it as opposed to running 60 frames which may give people a smoother experience but you may see more pixelation than you would if you were running a 30 frame video so that's really the point of this and it was just you know some clips i wanted to show you on various settings give you an idea of what you can do to adjust it so in conclusion let me round things up up here tight you know wrap things up here with um video settings okay bit rate is the number one thing that's going to cause you to have better quality or worse quality higher bit rate is better quality uh, but once you have to figure out a happy medium between your viewership and what you want to achieve in quality because a lot of your viewers just can't view a high bit rate stream okay and especially guys that are watching things on mobile. So you got to think about that. You know, mobile guys have to have a lower bitrate stream to be able to, you know, keep from buffering all the time. You know, and, but let's be honest. You don't want to sit there and watch a stream buffering all the time. It just gets frustrating. You want to watch a nice steady flow of video coming in. So make sure that you find a bitrate. Turn my phone off here. Uh, a nice steady bitrate that allows your viewers to watch your stream smoothly but at the same time afford the quality that you can have you know you can you can achieve with this video so i have found that the 2800 actually does work pretty good and um you know i can adjust it down to 2500 at 30 frames per second and the, the bpp goes down to a 0.9 it's just below a one you really don't see that much of a difference in quality uh, but once you get down to about 2000, as you saw, you saw what the difference was. And it is, is you know, uh, pretty significant when you start seeing that pixelation and stuff like that. So try to keep your videos quality. Now, for your profile, you can run the baseline, you can run the main, you can run the high. Didn't really see a big difference in uh, video quality change there. Same thing goes with changing from very fast to fast. Now, ultra fast to fast or ultra fast to very fast, you're going to see some change, okay? But if you're running it very fast, I really uh, don't see a reason why you can you should try to run anything greater than that for streaming because uh, there's just not really that much of a difference in quality. So bit rate's a big deal and frame rate, okay? Frame rate is the other one, okay? If you're going to run in frame rate, you got to have a high upload to be able to run at 60 frames. That's just the way it is. Uh, or you're just going to have a lot of buffering like you saw with these videos here where it was freezing. If you were watching that live, then you would have you know, had some extreme buffering. I'd have had to drop the bit rate down and you'd have really had a pixelated video at 60 frames per second. So that's really what it just comes down to is finding a good balance and everybody's system is going to be different. So I got to keep that in mind too. Okay. Some guys have a really powerful Intel i7, you know, the latest and greatest i7 processor that could probably stream and play the latest games in, you know, with high frame rates with ease. Or you have a system like me where I have a, you know, mediocre i5-3570 where I need a dedicated streaming rig to be able to do the same thing that these guys with high-end systems are doing. Uh, I like this uh, the, the flexibility that a stream rig gives me when compared to a single rig. Uh, there are bonuses to having that. Uh, I can record pretty much lossless uh, video with my stream rig. I don't have to worry about if my stream locks up and I'm in a game and I shut the game down or minimize the game to get out. Uh, it runs separate, it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, and it works out really well. But the video settings is definitely something you need to, to, to think about. And please, go look at the Reddit post. Reddit post is going to give you a lot of insight on these settings, give you some uh, concepts that you may or may not know about already, and give you a little better understanding of why you try to achieve this point one fidelity. So... Go out there, give it a shot, use your own settings, adjust as necessary. I hope this video helped you out. And if you if you liked it, then uh, give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And if you got any more questions about OBS Studio, make sure you check out my playlist for OBS Studio tutorials. I have pretty much anything and everything you want to know about OBS Studio in there right now, including you know overlays, chat boxes, 
uh, and a big uh, definitive guide to the whole software suite. So make sure you check that out, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.